Yo, what's up, family? It is Friday, April 20th, and this is the 110th episode of Tone's Take. And let's just call this a Freaky Friday episode because this, this story is pretty, pretty crazy, at least by my standards. If you haven't heard, just recently, Allison Mack, she's a star on Smallville. She was just arrested today for her involvement, alleged involvement, and a sex cult. Apparently, she was one of the ringleaders of this sex cult, it, part of a group called NX. IVM or Nexium. So according to this indictment here, um, she was arrested on counts of sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy, and forced labor conspiracy by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District Court of New York as confirmed in this article by Yahoo Entertainment. And again, it was part of this, this group here called Nexium, which was run by this guy whose name is Keith Rainier, who also went as uh, Vanguard, and apparently um, this this young lady, Allison Mack, was recruiting women, um, recruiting women, and basically making them sex slaves to have sex with this Rainier guy. Now, I tried to look up some information on this program that they were running again. It's N X I V M, and it's pronounced Nexium. And some of the things that I found on Wikipedia, it says it's a multi-level marketing organization that offers personal and professional development seminars. So think Pyramid Scheme. And it was pretty much founded by this Keith Rainier guy back in 2000 and like 2000, not even 2000, I'm sorry, I, I, I got my year wrong. It was, this was founded back in 1998, so over 20 years ago. And so I found this one, you know, this one uh, little thing about him this one video that i wanted to share because it's it's kind of crazy what they're talking about here so let's just listen real quick he's considered a genius if you want me to spend numbers on the board i'll dabble his first business consumers byline now closed was accused by state prosecutors of being a pyramid scheme he settled the charges without admitting guilt i try to make a hundred million dollars a month He was so brilliant, and he had such amazing technology, and he could teach people a better way of doing things, and they didn't really want people to learn. In 1998, he created a personal development program called Next. So, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. But then another video that I, I wanted to focus on was this, this woman, she's, she's like the, the executive vice president of Nexium. Her name is Nancy Salzman. And she kind of talks about what this program is about. And it's just, it, just based on her, her uh, explanation, this is, gets even weirder. So let's check out this video. Executive Success Programs is a human potential program. It's a program that is designed for people to identify what it is they want to do in their lives and how they can do it the best way possible. The way that we do that is with a model that we call Rational Inquiry. And Rational Inquiry is unique in many, many ways. I'm sure it and is. And it allows us to become very much aware of who we are, what is important to us, what is valuable to us. So it's a coaching program and it's a goal setting program and it's a program that allows you to identify what you want to do in your life, what's important for you to do, and then to set goals and achieve them. Interesting. That's an interesting way of saying we recruit uh, women to become sex slaves. And according to a Rolling Stone article that came out like way, well, it wasn't way back last year. It was, well, it was actually March 2018 of this year. Um, Rainier was also charged with, you know, this uh, forced labor conspiracy. But apparently they also like brand women with like, I, I don't understand exactly what's been going on and what's been happening here. And there's also been another um, another star from Smallville whose name is uh, Kristen Crook. So she was also a part of, of this cult as well. And it's just really crazy to see all the things that have been happening here from the branding to, to this crazy woman who is the president. Um, right now, on if you go to the website for Executive Success Program, they have a statement that says, in response to the allegations against our founder, Keith um, Rainier, we are currently working with the authorities to demonstrate his innocence and true character. How? <laughs> we strongly believe the justice system will prevail in bringing the truth to light. We are saddened by the reports, 
perpetuated by the media and their apparent disregard for innocent until proven guilty. Yet we will continue to honor the same principles on which our company was founded. Um, it is during the times of great adversity that integrity, humanity, and compassion are hardest and most needed. And then it also says in response to the uh, uh, accusations against our founder, Keith Rainier, we are currently working with the authorities to prove the innocence. They basically just write the same thing pretty much twice on, on this website. And it's just pretty weird. But what's also weird is that this is a pretty crazy cult. Again, I found an article from Forbes that goes back to 2013 or 2003, October 13th of 2003, that talks about, it, it starts off by saying, Keith Rainier's devoted followers say he is one of the smartest and most ethical people alive. They describe him as a soft-spoken, humble genius who can diagnose societal ills with remarkable clarities. Some 3,700 people have flocked to Rainier, who at the time was 43, and the Executive Success Program, which he created into, in 1998. And then it goes on to list some of these people. You've got um, Sheila Jackson, who co-founded BET, Antonia Novello, a former U.S. Surgeon General, Stephen Cooper, who at the time was the acting chief executive of Enron. Um, just so many people. They even were able to get the like the 14th Dalai Lama or something, according to Wikipedia. They were able to get the 14th Dalai Lama um, to come and speak at Albany's Palace Theater. So. I don't know what this guy is up to, who he is, who she is, but this is some, some if, if you want to talk about deep state, this seems like some deep state level stuff going on here because they are basically able to like manipulate, it seems like these women, um, whether it be Allison Mack or, or Kristen Crook, it doesn't matter. It just seems, this is this is the scary stuff that we have to deal with where people are, are able to influence um, others on a more deeper and psychological level so i just thought i'd talk about that story today because it's just amazing um how how much this is really starting to spiral it's caught my attention today with uh, the arrest of this woman before that i had no idea that this was happening um at, at all and apparently there are more centers across the u.s so um apparently the fbi is is still you know investigating seeing you know just how deep this rabbit hole really goes and we'll find out more as as this continues to unravel i'll definitely make sure i try to follow this throughout but um yeah let me know what you guys think of this story um about allison max involvement about um this this guy uh what, what was his name um keith rainier and just this this whole scheme this everything about this just is so weird and so crazy i just i i don't know what else to really think of it so yeah let me know what you guys think thank you all for watching um and i will see you all tomorrow peace out <laughs> i hope